what the fuck's up? Everybody's like, where the fuck has he been? You know where I've been? You know where I've been? I'll show you where the fuck. I've been like a mad fucking scientist in here hiding in this secret ass layer I got. And I mean, it ain't really a secret. It's my man cave in my fucking trailer. But, you know, right there, staring holes into that motherfucker. One, two. Yeah, let me pull back down. Oh, shit. All right, look, I ain't even taking time to go fucking find a goddamn t-shirt to throw on. Fucking wearing my wife beater. All right, so listen. Uh, no, it's been a second. No, I don't do these a lot. Um, turn this motherfucking heater down. So turn it off. That way, it's too hot up in here. Um, so we, look, let me just go ahead and start this all the fuck over. So, three albums. Three motherfucking albums. We do it for Dale this year. Uh, three albums this year. Three motherfucking albums. I ain't wasting no time, okay? We dropped three last year. Well, we dropped four, okay? We dropped three albums in a mixtape. I took the mixtape down. I took the mixtape down because every one of the songs that got put on the mixtape was shit that I just... It wasn't album worthy, and it wasn't because it didn't fit into the album. The production was the problem. Um, so I took I took the album down. It wasn't put together, you know. Or I took the mixtape down. It just wasn't. It was. It well, there was no point for it being there. So what I'm doing is every song that I paid attention to that people actually like from the mixtape, and. Uh, songs that I actually fucking like from the mixtape that I didn't want to get deleted but did with it um, I'm taking and I'm dispersing them alright I'm taking them I might drop a couple of singles I might put one or two on you know these upcoming albums I'm figuring it out okay um, on to the three albums though alright so I'm not I've only, we've only named one album so far okay and just vibing and y'all saw that with the uh with the remix i posted a couple weeks back the crash remix y'all seen that i i uh i leaked the announcement to y'all at the end of the video now i kind of fucked up doing that uh in all honesty because that's not going to be the first album for the year i threw a fucking audible um it was going to be the first album for the year but it's probably not going to be, okay? We got a fucking hard-ass country rap album that I've had in the bag since... See, I record so much fucking shit all the time. I don't even know what the f when the fuck I record what. Um, I'm going to say I've had that song in the bag since at least right around the same time. Like, it and Country Rapper were supposed to be one big album, okay? But I split them up. And now, uh, and, and made some new stuff and, and figured it into this other album. I pretty much split the Country Rapper album in half that I, that I dropped back on my birthday last year. I split it in half, took a couple of songs off of it, started making another album with them, and then kind of stuck to it, and now we've got another album. So, I've got that album coming out. I wanted to put it out this month. But I mean, Young Gun just dropped in December, and I and I gave, I gave, you know, between Carolina Grown and Country Rapper the album, there was a good little space there. So I don't want to just throw y'all an album and not give y'all time to appreciate it. You see what I'm saying? Like I'm going, I'm not going to fucking. We ain't a label over here. I'm not about to just give y'all one album every fucking two years. No. That has been the dumbest thing to me that a label will have an artist do. Like, I don't, uh, I don't know if Zach Bryan signed to a label or not. He probably is for with his with as much exposure as he's getting. But they're doing it right. They're letting that they're letting that dude put out what he wants when the fuck he wants. And you notice, oh, he's getting all this buzz right now, and and people aren't just wearing out one fucking song like. Had it been anybody else, he would have dropped Heading South as a single, and he would have built off that single for a year. Then he would have dropped the EP the next year, and then that EP would have turned into an album the next year. Like, you see how fucking long they drag it out? Okay, we ain't doing that, alright? Are we the biggest in the world? Fuck no. Do we care? Fuck no. We still out here making fucking bangers. So, 
three albums this year. I don't think y'all are really gonna know what the fuck's hit y'all on the on the on the last two albums of the year because it's it's like that post I made a few months back. I just have this I had this urge to tap into this part of my mind musically that I had never really tapped into before. I like all kinds of fucking music, man. I like everything. I don't just fucking listen to country. I don't just listen to rap music. I don't just, no, man. I listen to everything. Every, my musical spectrum is so fucking broad that you couldn't fit it in a goddamn ocean, okay? I listen to everything, all right? The only thing I really don't much care for is mumble rap, and I mean, I'm sorry. I just, I don't fucking get down with it. I like Future. I like 2 Chains. I like Lil Wayne. I mean, there's no, and Machine Gun Kelly, and there's no other really, Eminem's old school, he's still new school because he's putting shit out, but that motherfucker was making hits when my mom and dad were in high school, before they graduated, so to me, technically, he's not from this generation, he still makes fucking bangers for this generation, he's still putting out fucking hits, but he's not from this generation, he is from the last generation, and he was so fucking popular that he just tumbled and dominoed into the next one, okay, that's what the fuck we're gonna be, okay, we're for this generation right now. We're coming out right now. The next generation, 10 years from now, my songs are still going to fucking be relevant. You know why? Because I motherfucking said so. All right? So, any fucking way. I'm getting off a goddamn track. This ain't, I'm, I'm worse than Kanye with the ADHD, all right? Speaking of that shit, did, did anybody see where he fucking, him and uh, Ozzy Osbourne's getting into that bullshit? Like, look, I'm sorry. I love Ozzy, and I fucks with Kanye. Ozzy, let him use the fucking sample. Just let him use the sample, okay? Just let mans use the sample, all right? Um, we, we are not going to sit here and act like that you, Ozzy Osbourne, are a squeaky clean motherfucker and have the right to um, say anything about anyone's actions. I mean, you snorted a line of fucking Nikki Six's piss. So... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. But I still love Ozzy Osbourne. I mean, that motherfucker is the shit. Um, he has stood the test of time, honestly. I mean, he is just a musical fucking mountain, all right? But, um, God almighty, I get sidetracked as a motherfucker. Okay, so back to the albums, all right? I've come to realize that I've that you you guys like music videos, all right? I can put an audio video out for y'all all day long, and yeah, y'all are going to listen to it. But y'all are going to go back to Spotify and just spin that shit. Y'all aren't going to go to, because I know, you know, I know not everybody's paying for YouTube premium. Trust me, I know what the fuck it is. Like, if, you, if you're listening to a song on YouTube, you can't cut your phone off. So, therefore, you're killing your phone. And if you're at work, you might not be trying to do that. You're trying to just put your headphones in and jam out. That's the whole reason why I got on streaming in the first place. You know how many times I was told by people close to me and shit like that, and, and my, my homies in this music shit told me that streaming is fucking pointless. You want me? I will be the first one to tell you. Streaming has just as many pros as it does fucking cons. We as artists don't make shit off of streaming, okay? Whether you are a big fucking artist or you are a no-named artist, you make nothing off of streaming compared to what artists have, artists can make. You know what I'm saying? So, like, and, and I mean, like, back in the day, they didn't make artists themselves. They didn't make a whole lot off of physical sales either. The record labels kept all that shit. Um... It's the same thing with today. Every time an artist gets a fucking spin, they get a penny. So, and that record label's splitting that penny. Like, fucking, a whole hell, holy splitting that penny. They're taking that one fucking cent, and they're splitting it 20 goddamn ways. So what what's left for the artist at the end of that? What is truly left for the artist to take home and feed his family with at the end of that? Because musicians... That's their job, man. That 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 right there is what the fuck brings bread to their table. That's what feeds their family. That's what feeds them. That's what pays their bills. So that's just like me out here being a fucking electrician. That's what pays my bills. Music doesn't pay my bills. Everybody looks at me and says my music's nothing but a hobby. No, my music is my fucking dream and it's my grind. And one day it's going to pay my fucking bills. Like, when it's all said and done... Flash back to this fucking video, watch it, and you will hear me say it right now. And then they'll be like, damn, that motherfucker manifested his future. Because I, I am. I fucking am. Straight up. Call me crazy. Call me whatever the fuck you want. I do not care. 
Sit on it and spin. All right. So. Oh, fuck. ADHD again. Anyway, when it comes to how. It, it's it's like okay, so I watched this fucking um, I watched uh Brantley Gilbert do the podcast with Jelly Roll's wife, and this man hit it on the head. When you are starting out, okay, until you've made it, and I mean made it, you ain't made it when you just start doing shows and making a little bit of money, even though it might feel like it. No, you ain't made it. You ain't made it until you are a fucking household name. Your songs will be making money for your grandkids. And your bills are all paid and you have no worries and the record label's not taking the majority of it and just giving it. No, you are the one getting paid. That's when you've made it as an artist. Okay. When you yourself are the sole fucking gatekeeper of your career and your legacy, you've made it as an artist. That's why Up Church is, he, he made it four years ago, six years ago. I mean, he... Work, 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 work. Everybody's like, what the fuck did he work, 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 work his ass off for 10 years. And now motherfuckers, it's like they love him so much they fucking hate him. I mean, I'm dead serious. When you have won so much, like, because I'm a firm believer in you ain't winning if they ain't hating. So if you ain't winning to the point that the whole mainstream record in, uh, music industry is blackballing you. Motherfucker, you ain't won. That that dude has done kicked 40 fucking field goals right through the uprights. Homie, he has done did it. That's just like everybody sits there and says, oh, um, Jelly, he always said he wasn't going to sign a record deal. Do you motherfuckers really know what he done? This man sat back for 20 years, 20 years, and done what I'm doing now. Busted his ass, stayed underground, stayed grinding, built a fucking following. And then he went into Nashville with some bargaining power. He went in there and said, y'all ain't going to take my creativity and my creative control and just slap your name on what I've already fucking made because I can leave here today and still make money with my fucking songs. I promise. So what they do? They say, well, shit, this motherfucker's too smart. He's as smart as he is big around. Sorry, Jelly, we love you. But he's as smart as he is big around. And, um, yeah, the man probably don't even split 50% of his residuals with his record label. You notice how he gets to go on his interviews and stuff, and if you've been watching Jelly for a minute, he's still the same old Jelly Roll. He didn't, it ain't like he went through a complete fucking character change. Because the man kept his creative control. The man kept a hold of what he was. He didn't let them take his soul, suck it out of his fucking body, and then leave him in the back. No. He said, we ain't doing this unless I'm getting paid. That, that right there is a fucking winner, okay? These motherfuckers out here clout chasing on other people's fan bases. These motherfuckers out here trying to just buy features from, from a bigger named artist and then sit there and use that. Like, I'm sorry. But I am not going to sit here and spend 25, I mean, I have bought trucks for cheaper than what I've had bigger named artists hit me up and ask me for a motherfucking feature. Like, you know what? I will show y'all proof. Hold on. So, like I said, am I the biggest name in the world? No. But why are they hitting me up for features? Is it because they know who I am? Obviously. Have they heard my shit? Something. I'm sure. I mean, who the fuck is Justin Time follows me on Instagram. Are these flexes? Kinda. But in a weird way. So... I mean, I'm sorry, Big Murph ain't a bad artist. Not my cup of tea, but he ain't a bad artist. Grimes there. But any fucking artist who's going to sit there and try to take lump slumps of fucking money, then over half of the royalties from an upcoming artist, 
and try to play it off as they're trying to be fucking helpful. I'm sorry, bro. You're just, you ain't worth a fuck. You're not. None of you that do that are. It's the same fucking thing with Best Believe. I paid $400. 400 fucking dollars to go do a show with this guy just for him to cancel the show and then turn around and try to drag me to fucking Florida and then when I found out that once everybody because I ended up like linking up over social media with some of the people that were going to do this show that was on the flyer with me none of them performed none of them performed none of them Got their 400 or five or however fucking much he told them. None of them got and, and we were paying for a 10 minute fucking slot. That much for a 10 minute slot. So when you see these fucking rappers out here flexing their goddamn cars and their fucking money and shit, just know that a lot of that came from fucking scammers. From scammers. The a lot of these artists these days, they've had to become professional fucking scammers. To people like me. Because that's how the fuck they get their money. You find a kid like me sitting in his fucking, in his in-home studio, grinding it out, trying, just trying to get a song to hit. And then you tell him, hey, bro, I'll give you, I'll give you a feature for this amount of money. And then we'll split the royalty. We'll split the royalties, yada, yada, yada. And that motherfucker's dumb enough and eager enough that they spend that money. Well, you don't put the song out on your platform. You don't fucking promote it. I mean, with the case with the whole Big Murph thing, all I'd have been paying for was a fucking album filler. How do I know he was even going to fucking put it on the album? I could have paid the man my money, sent him my verse, and him said, oh, I don't like that. Like a lot of them fucking do. So, I'm not doing that shit. If they, if, if when I get a feature with a big name... You bet your ass it's because they hit me up and said, hey, kid, let's work. I did not fucking pay them. I'm not going to. I don't care if that's the difference maker between me and the top. I'm not going to fucking do it. If it blew me up tomorrow, I'm not going to do it. If it blew me up for the simple fact that somebody just saw my name on their fucking album, I'm not going to do it. That is just as fucking equivalent as selling out. Because you don't think that you... Are fucking worth enough to make it on your grind alone. You got to leech onto somebody else's. You got to put your name on somebody else's. And then they going to sit there and say they fucking made you. And you can't deny it. You were a no name until they come along. Huh. Chase Matthews of church. Katie Noel of church. I didn't even know who the fuck Big Murph was until up church came around. And did a song with him. I mean. These motherfuckers they. They think every upcoming artist is a dumbass. Because they were that naive little dumbass at one point. And yeah, we're all naive and we're all dumb starting out. I mean, we all. I mean, we're just... It, it, it is what it is. But I tell you what I'm fucking not. And that's dumbass. I might be a little naive. I might be a little dumb to the next step that I gotta take. But I know I'm going to take that next step regardless and all my motherfucking on my my leg, my power is going to pick the leg up and move it and plant that foot. Nobody else. You don't see me walking with crutches or in a wheelchair. My fucking legs work. And they work it all the way up to the motherfucking top. I love y'all. See y'all later.